Hello everybody and welcome to this video. This is where I will be going over my preview and predictions for the Royal Rumble. Now I know it's early, but I wanted to get this out as early as I could because, you know, the weather and among other stuff. Um, if you guys are going to ask me um, uh, NXT, we're like, what are you going to do for NXT? Are you going to do your predictions for NXT? I am not going to be watching NXT. And not saying, I'm not saying that because I've got my, my issues with NXT because it's predictable. NXT is predictable. NXT, like, it's that insanely predictable. And I think I'll be able to know each show, but... Anyway, let's go on with, uh... Let's go on with the, um, pay-per-view. I'm not gonna talk about the pre-show. Even though I've heard that Bobby Roode is gonna be doing an open challenge. And you've got the club, that Gallows and Anderson against the Revival, and a Cruiserweight Tag Team match. Cruiserweight Tag Team match. We go from a, a Cruiserweight Championship match with Cedric Alexander and Enzo Amore to now a Cruiserweight Tag Team match. Six man tag. Okay, we're going to go, we're going to talk about the main show. The Royal Rumble match. The men's Royal Rumble match. We've got Elias, Randy Orton, Shinsuke Nakamura, John Cena, Finn Balor, Baron Corbin, Matt Hardy, Ray Wyatt, Rusev, Aiden English, Apollo Crews, Titus O'Neil, The Miz, Ty Donja, The New Day, and Roman Reigns, who was recently added today. I am thinking he was added today. I'm going to go over a few things. Um, well, obviously my potential winner for one. And about other things I've recently heard about. Surprise entrances. Well, I think one of the surprise entrances is going to be former TNA world champion EC3. Because I've been hearing a lot of uh, rumors going around that EC3 is uh, at the Performance Center, apparently. There's been reports saying that EC3 was spotted at the Performance Center, a training in WWE. So, I think EC3 could be on his way. He's obviously on his way to WWE. And I could potentially see him in this match. And... Uh, and, and we all know Ty Dillinger, you know, Ty, you know, we all know Ty Dillinger, like, he came out at the number 10 spot. Why not have EC3 come out at number 3, you know? 3 is at the end of his name, EC3, number 3. You know, it, it would fit, it would fit to his name. So, I think EC3 is going to be at the Royal Rumble. As for NXT, as for NXT, who would be... A good surprise entry for NXT. I think... I'm going to make a bold guess here. I think Eric Young from Sanity. I think Eric Young from Sanity would be great for the Royal Rumble. Or maybe any member of Sanity. Maybe Alexander Wolf, Killian Dane. But you would assume that Nikki Cross will be a surprise entrance in the uh, women's Royal Rumble. So why not have a male member of Sanity being the men's. So I think a member of Sanity, which I think it's going to be Eric Young, that will be a surprise entrant in the men's Royal Rumble. I'm not going to go over other surprises. You know, and the one thing that I've always heard people complain about, how the build to the Royal Rumble has been garbage. The Royal Rumble isn't a pay-per-view that you really need to build to. The Royal Rumble isn't a pay-per-view that, yeah, I understand the build hasn't been great, but now you got to think about it for a second. The Royal Rumble is one of the most exciting pay-per-views of the year. Sure, they sure you can say, oh, they've really done nothing to make me excited to see the paper to look to uh to look forward to the pay-per-view, but you will watch it, of course. You will watch the pay-per-view, and I'm not calling you a hypocrite or anything, but. You know, you always say, oh, nothing will ever excite me. But the Royal Rumble is one of the most exciting pay-per-views of the year. 
He's definitely one, the Royal Rumble is definitely one of the most exciting pay-per-views of the year. Regardless of the build, regardless of the build, I think the Royal Rumble will always be the most exciting pay-per-view of the year, regardless of the build. And that's my honest opinion. That's, that's my honest opinion about the Royal Rumble. Now, let's go over the winner. Who do I see winning this match? Well, and also, I heard, you know, someone that said that Elias could come out at number one and last the entire Royal Rumble. Yeah, I, I guess I'd be okay with that. Because, again, as I've said many times before, the Royal Rumble is a pay-per-view where you build new stars. That's what the Royal Rumble is for. The Royal Rumble is to build new stars. That's what that, that's what this whole pay-per-view is for. But people want to make obvious predictions on why why the wrong star should win. Or why this certain guy must win over others. But yes, I understand on most of the degrees of the turn of the turns, but I'm just saying, you know? It's there to build new stars. That's what the rumble's meant to do. So yeah, I'm okay with the Elias idea. Because I've been I've been saying for for, for weeks now, oh, the Royal Rumble is there to build new stars. Like if I rejected this idea, then people would be, be against my claims, you know? Oh, you only said that for the women's. Yeah. But yes, Elias, I'm okay with that. Him coming out at number one and lasting the entire thing. Yeah. I, I'm okay with that. But I know it won't happen. If he comes out at number one, he'll most likely in the end get eliminated by John Cena. Whether early or late. The Women's Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble that everybody was shitting on. The Royal Rumble that everybody was shitting on. It's the most hated thing right now because people just don't want... Because people just don't like something different. Now, I always hear the word force being thrown around. I don't find this forced at all. Like, who cares if this is all about the women's revolution? Honestly, who cares? I've always heard, I mean, like, it's so stupid, like, how, I've, like, I've always had people tell me, way before the women ever got any of this stuff, way be years before women ever got this stuff, like, I always had people tell me why women need to start, why, why WWE need to start giving women more matches besides singles matches and tag team matches and all those traditional matches that the women always had. Well, back then they were called Divas. But people think that, people think that, oh, well, you know, we need women to start, you know, being more like the guys. Like, I always hear people say that. Like, Women, the women need me like the guys. And they're doing that. And they're doing that right now, and everybody is shitting on it, because they think it's the wrong time to do it. There are 18 women in the match. It would have been 19 if Paige didn't get injured. I'm not blaming that on Sasha, but... It would have been 19 if Paige didn't get injured. And same thing for the Raw, and same thing for the, uh, Raw one. It would have been 19 as well if Joe didn't get injured. So, let's go over the participants. We've got Naomi, Oscar, Ruby Wright, Natalia, Sasha, Bailey, Mandy, Sonia, Carmella, Tamina, Lana, Liv Morgan, Sarah Logan, Mickey James, Nia Jax, Becky Lynch, Alicia Fox, and Dana Brooke. As I always say, the Royal Rumble is to build new stars. That's what it's there for. It's to build new stars. It's to build new talent, up and coming talents. It's what this thing's for. Now I'm hearing people, you know, saying why Sasha Banks and all of them shouldn't win. Sure, I understand that they've had championship matches before. What? So you what? So so if Oscar, let's say if Oscar had five women's championship opportunities within one year, and and would you guys say she should win the Royal Rumble? Let's just say that. Let's say Oscar gets five women's championship opportunities and she loses all five. Or like she's a multi-time women's champion and she's had so many opportunities 
Would you still want Oscar to win a Royal Rumble? Huh? Would you still want Oscar to win a Royal Rumble if she was a multi-time women's champion? I bet you would. I bet you would. Just like Roman Reigns, Oscar doesn't need the women's Royal Rumble. I'm telling you guys. Oscar doesn't need the women's Royal Rumble to be legit. Look, just because she's going to get her ass thrown over the top rope and uh, both of her heat hitting the floor, that's going to immediately bury Oscar, right? That's going to ruin her physique. She's, if she gets thrown out, it's not going to affect her undefeated streak. Seriously, guys, it's not going to kill Oscar's undefeated streak if she's thrown over the top rope and both of her, heat hit, both of her feet hitting the floor. It's not going to kill. It's not going to kill her. But no, it's going to kill her according to all the Oscar fans. It's going to kill her if it's the Oscar, to, to the Oscar fans. Sure, I understand Sasha and Bailey have had opportunities. But. But I hate how everybody. Must, I just hate listening to how everybody is saying, oh, Os it must be Oscar. It must be Oscar. You know? I mean, like, we've got it. I mean, like, we've got plenty of stars. Hang on. I think the phone is. Hang on. Maybe. Maybe, you know, if someone's asking me, am I watching the Big Bash for the cricket? Um, no. No. Um, like, we've got a lot of people here. I mean, like, we've got a lot of people here who, who, who are definitely eligible to win. You know, I hate how everybody must say that Oscar must win. It must be Oscar, regardless who, who's in the ring. So again, Naomi, Naomi, Natalia, Sasha Banks, Bailey, uh, Mickey James, Nia Jax, and Becky Lynch. So apparently, all these names aren't worthy to win the Royal Rumble. Well, I think Becky should. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I don't know why everybody is so vocal on wanting Oscar to win. Just like Roman Reigns, she doesn't need the Women's Royal Rumble. People always go on record saying that Oscar doesn't need the, uh, doesn't, they always, people always go on record saying that Roman Reigns doesn't need the Men's Royal Rumble. And by the way, if you're thinking on who I was thinking to pick for the Men's Royal Rumble, I was thinking Shinsuke, but I'll get on more details on that in a minute. I need to get this done. I want someone other than Oscar, and I know Stephanie McMahon is on commentary. And yes, I understand that, that is a very scary thing to think about with her being there. I know some people would say, oh, Oscar, oh uh, Stephanie McMahon's there to, to do something. Who knows, they might be planning a Stephanie McMahon match at WrestleMania. I know there might be people be against that. I know there'll be a lot of people against that. I mean, like, can you imagine if it's Stephanie McMahon that actually eliminates Oscar? That will, that will be really good heel heat for Stephanie. That will piss off a lot of people. And that's another thing I hate. I hate how they say, oh, you must give up the fans what they want. Yeah, I understand that people like Oscar and they like Shinsuke. But do you really think Vince, do you really think WWE really care who the fans want? That's another thing you need to look at it as well. I'm not saying that, oh, Oscar doesn't have to win. Well, I think Oscar doesn't have to win. I'm not saying Shinsuke Nakamura doesn't have to win, which I think he should. Oscar is a different story. I think she shouldn't win it because she's just come on the main roster. She's just come on. Like, she can be like Roman Reigns. Like, she can earn it in a different way. But, so, if, but, so, if her name isn't Roman Reigns, she has to use the Royal Rumble, right? But if, but if you're Roman Reigns, you can't, you can't use the Royal Rumble. I understand Roman Reigns. I, Roman Reigns, I understand completely. But still, if you're going to say Roman Reigns doesn't need the Royal Rumble to win, but you're saying Oscar needs it, what's the difference? Well, it's because you don't think Oscar is forced down your throat, but Roman Reigns is? Come on! I mean, come on. Really? If Roman Reigns doesn't need the Women's Royal... If, if, if Roman Reigns doesn't need a Royal Rumble, I'm saying Oscar doesn't need the Royal Rumble either. As for the men, I'm going to go Shinsuke Nakamura, and for Smack, and for the women, I'm going to go Becky Lynch. 
Now, I'm going to go back onto the men's rumble here for a quick second. Before I get on with anything else. Alright, as for the women, we know there will be surprise entrances and, and call-ups. I'll quickly go over them before I get into the men's one as well. I know I've already gone over the men's one. I don't think I ever said who I was going to play. Now, obviously, now, obviously the women that we saw at Raw 25 will possibly be the people that, we, that, that will enter the match. Except for Maurice and Maria. And maybe except Terry Runnels. But we'll find out more about that in detail. Now, as for the men, I can see why people are nervous that Roman Reigns could win this, but I honest, but as what I said for Oscar, if people think that Roman Reigns doesn't need the Royal Rumble, same thing does, same thing goes for Oscar. She doesn't need the Royal Rumble. So, John Cena, people are saying John Cena could win. Now, people are saying that The Undertaker could interfere and prevent John Cena from winning. Well, obviously, obviously I see John Cena eliminating Elias, which I think is kind of an obvious one, because there are people saying, oh, Elias needs to start number one because of that whole idea that someone said. Yeah, like I said, it's a cool idea, but... Do you really think Elias is going to survive the entire Royal Rumble? Nah. And if he does come out number one, he'll probably, you know, have a good, good 10, 20, maybe he'll have a good 10, 30 minutes. And then John Cena will come out and he'll AA him out of the ring. But people will think John Cena won't win because of The Undertaker. Well, I would take your word for it. But I'm not 100% sure for sure. Obviously, I know Randy Orton won't winning, so don't worry, guys. I'm not going to pick Randy Orton because I'm a Randy Orton fan. I think Shinsuke should win. Only because I think Shinsuke kind of does deserve this. But, like I said in my video that I, went, that, I went, that I talked about for 40 minutes, is that Shinsuke has lost a lot of his... Uh, star power and and the Royal Rumble yes will definitely resurrect it sure it will definitely resurrect it but the other thing that will definitely give Shinsuke more power is the fact that they need to build him up they need to build him look they need to make him look strong heading into his championship match at WrestleMania with AJ Styles but I honestly do not see WWE going with Shinsuke I honestly don't. I'm sorry. I really do not see WWE going with Shinsuke. And again, about Oscar, is that people always like to talk about, you know, you know, people like to talk about why she should win. Well, according to this, according to the poster, um, I know I can't show you the poster, but according to the poster, Oscar is front and center. Is on the front and center of the uh, of the rumble. John Cena is on the front as well. John Cena is on the front. You got Seth and well, you got more. Well, Seth won't be in the Rumble, but you got John Cena on the front. You got Oscar at the front, and Roman Reigns is at the back. And I, I don't, I don't think people would think, oh, well, what, what, what's, what, what's the, what's the point of this? It's like it's just a poster. Yeah, but basically what I'm saying is, is that Wrestle Talk News mentioned something that kind of piqued my interest. That Wrestle Talk News said that since they've got Oscar front and center of the uh, on the poster for the Women's Royal Rumble, they think she might not win. They think she may not win because she's had because Oscar has all the momentum heading into WrestleMania, heading into the Royal Rumble, which is why I think Oscar could not win. May not win. I think she may not win because of that alone. So it's the same thing for. Uh, the men's one here. John Cena is front and center. So John Cena may not win because he's front and center. Roman Reigns is up the back. And Shinsuke is on the far right of this poster. I thought Shinsuke wasn't even on the poster. Like, Shinsuke is on the far right. I know some people are saying, oh, this poster really means nothing, Patrick, so stop talking about it. Well, I think the poster may have... May, may, I think... Wrestle Talk News may be onto something, so I'm gonna keep their word for it about Oscar. Though. 
we've got Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan versus The Bar. I think The Bar are going to win this. And I really think this is going to set up Jason Jordan and Seth Rollins to, to break up. And Jason Jordan to turn heel. And what's the bet people start cheering Jason Jordan now that he's a heel? The Usos versus Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. I think Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable need, need to win this match. Because I'm tired of the Usos as champions. I know people always go on record saying they're the most legit team. But even the most legit people need to lose. So I think Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin should win this match. Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman versus Kane. Two words. Brock Lesnar. Enough said. AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Handicap match for the WWE Championship. Now this could be now this is obviously a tricky one. I have heard three scenarios that could come out of this match. AJ Styles wins. Nothing happens. Owens and Zayn stay together. Number two, AJ Styles wins. Sami Zayn turns face. Like Kevin Owens turns on Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn turns face. The third? Listen to this. The third? Sami Zayn turns on Kevin Owens. And Kevin Owens turns face. That's the th I'm legit serious. That is actually what I have heard. Would I would I agree with that? No. I don't think Owens should be a face. Like I can't imagine Kevin Owens walking out smiling. You know, looking, you know, smiling and and looking happy while the fans are holding fight Owens fight chant, bench, um having fight Owens fight, you know, shot signs and they've got a picture of him. I can't imagine that. I can't. Sami Zayn is better for that face role. So, I think AJ Styles is going to win and Sami Zayn is going to turn face. That's what I think. So, that is my so that is my Royal Rumble predictions. Hope you all enjoy I hope you all enjoyed my predictions and let me know down below your thoughts on my predictions and what I had to say about each match. Hit that thumbs up. Like I said, comment down below your thoughts. Subscribe if you're new as well. And also hit the bell so you'll be notified when you know when when my when this video when my next video comes up. So well, guys, this has been Patrick Valentine for your for my Royal Rumble preview my predictions. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you all next time, guys.